Margot Robbie is called the living embodiment of Barbie. Winner of two Oscar nominations. Margot Robbie was born on July 2, 1990 on the Gold Coast of Australia, in the coastal city of Gold Coast. In 2011, the girl went to conquer Hollywood and in less than 10 years of her career she became one of the most sought after movie stars. Her father is a farmer and her mother is a physiotherapist and specialist in working with the elderly and people with disabilities. Some time after the birth of the fourth child, the father, Mike Robbie, left the family. Therefore, the future actress spent almost all her childhood with her mother's parents. The grandparents with whom Robbie grew up were farmers. As a child, Margot did any farm work to help her family. Therefore, the actress knows how to milk cows and chop wood. The actress has been working since the age of 10, her first job was polishing cutlery in a restaurant, and by the time she was 16, she was working three jobs including selling surfboards in a beach shop. When the girl turned 17, with the money she earned, she bought herself a ticket to Melbourne and paid the first installment in acting classes. The first roles of Margot were so insignificant that her name did not even appear in the credits. But they were enough for the aspiring actress to be noticed in 2007 by the famous Australian director Ash Aaron, who offered Robbie the lead role in his new thriller I See You. In 2008, she was cast in the series Neighbours, which has been successfully broadcast on Australian TV since 1985. Six months after she quit her job for a role on Neighbours, she was invited back. But not as an employee, but as a model advertising this chain of fast food restaurants. Six months later, I was paid for advertising about 20 times more than I earned there, Robbie shared in an interview. In Hollywood, a girl tried to audition for the role of Abby Sampson in the TV series, Charlie's Angels, but the producers preferred Rachel Taylor. However, thanks to this, the young actress was noticed and offered one of the main roles in the new Pan American project, but after the first season, due to low ratings, the series was closed. In 2012, Richard Curtis offered Margot a role in the movie Boyfriend from the Future, and a year later the talent of a young Australian conquered Martin Scorsese. Margot sent Martin her portfolio without much hope and, as in the case of The Neighbours, flew to another continent, to Britain, to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. The same evening, the girl received a message, a day later she had to come to New York for an audition with Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio. When casting manager Ellen Lewis saw what the actress came in, it was ripped jeans and ballet flats, she immediately sent her to the store for the sexiest short dress and high, heeled shoes. Leo improvised during auditions, and Margot had to adapt. When in one of the scenes DiCaprio, after another family showdown, said, you should be happy to have a husband like me. Now come here and kiss me, Robbie was not at a loss. And although she really wanted to kiss the actor, who had been her idol since childhood, she came up and slapped him with a resounding slap in the face, although this was not in the script. After that, Scorsese had no doubts about who would play Jordan Belfort's wife. The actress did not invite her grandparents to the premiere of The Wolf of Wall Street. Elderly relatives stayed in Australia because the granddaughter did not want to shock them with frank scenes, which are enough in this film. Therefore, the girl appeared on the red carpet with her mother. After the premiere of work with Martin Scorsese, the young actress woke up famous. Her face began to appear regularly on the covers of glossy magazines, and her name was at the top of the ratings of the most attractive actresses in Hollywood. In 2016, Robbie captivated the public as the Joker's crazy lover in Suicide Squad. To better get used to the image, the actress had to improve her physical shape and remember the lessons of acrobatics and aerial gymnastics received in childhood. In 2017, the film Tanya vs. Everyone, directed by Craig Gillespie was released. A biopic about the career of figure skater Tanya Harding brought Margot her first Oscar nomination for Best Actress. For her role in the historical drama The Two Queens in 2018, where Robbie played Elizabeth I, the actress was nominated for a BAFTA award. The actress played her colleague with a tragic fate, actress Sharon Tate in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Before filming, 
Brad Pitt told me that no other set would have as much fun as Tarantino's. And he was right. In February 2020, the film, Birds of Prey, The Amazing Story of Harley Quinn, was released, the first film about a team of superheroines shot by a woman. The action movie was directed by Kathy Yen. In 2021, the premiere of the film, Suicide Squad, Mission Through, where Margot Robbie reappeared as Harley Quinn. The actress has never hidden the names of her boyfriends. Margot's first love was Matthew Thompson, who later became the director of the construction company Kostek Constructions in the star's native Gold Coast. They met in elementary school. After moving to Los Angeles, the actress met with a certain Mark, a college student, but apparently this relationship was short-lived, since already in 2012 the press brought together Robbie and DiCaprio. The New York Post reported that Hollywood's most coveted bachelor spent the night in the actress apartment, but the stars of The Wolf of Wall Street refused to comment on this information. The actress found new love on the set of the melodrama Sweet French. Her lover was Tom Ackerley, the third assistant director. The wedding ceremony took place in December 2016, after three years of romance, which has withstood the rigors of Margot's popularity. The lovers got married in the homeland of the actress, in Australia. Only the closest bride and groom came to the wedding. To be honest, I'm not ready to become a mother yet. It is better to be aware of this and not rush than to strive to meet someone's expectations. My maximum is pets. In 2022, Margot was busy filming at least three feature-length projects. First of all, this is the detective, Amsterdam. Together with Brad Pitt, the actress was busy filming the drama, Babylon, and together with Maya Hawke, in Wes Anderson's film, Asteroid City. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling will also star in Barbie, which is expected to be released in 2023. The actress has an unusual hobby, making tattoos. She has her own tattoo machine that she travels with. On the set of Suicide Squad, she herself made tattoos for the actors and the director. So, to Cara Delevingne, she applied drawings in the form of emoticons on her toes. Robbie's other hobbies include surfing and amateur hockey, which she began to practice after moving to America. In May 2016, Robbie became the face of the Calvin Klein Deep Euphoria fragrance. In 2017, Margot starred in an advertisement for Nissan Electric Cars. In February 2018, Robbie became a Chanel brand ambassador. She became the last brand ambassador chosen by Karl Lagerfeld before his death in February 2019. Later Margot became the face of Gabrielle Chanel Essence. In January 2020, before the Golden Globe Award ceremony, Margot, on her Instagram account, called on people to donate money to help firefighters and victims of wildfires in Australia.